guess what guys more problems but that is that's real estate for you you know I used to recommend people get into real estate I used to say hey everyone needs to get into real estate you know it's a great way to make passive income you know that the word that everyone wants passive income everyone should buy it it's super easy you just gotta buy it put some you know residents in there run it out you're making mailbox money it's really not the case I no longer recommend that people get into real estate because um, unless you're just throwing your money into like a syndication or something like that you're gonna run into problems okay like the one that we see here on my screen which is what we're gonna talk about today um, yeah so this has been a adventure I'm trying to even figure out what this thing is on the screen right here but um, this is a property uh, that I recently took over and clearly as you can see um, we're having some problems so the little backstory is um, before I close on the property I get a call from the seller and the seller says hey um, the gas company would like to put in some new gas lines uh, are you okay with that and I'm like hey you know what new gas lines in the park sounds good to me I don't have to pay for it they're putting them in and uh, you know I really have nothing to lose and so they went ahead and did it they bored underground uh, they put the lines in with their boring machine and um, they ran the lines through an area where there was you know a lot of other utilities however you know they'd marked it out and all that so you know three weeks later um, you know it's all done uh, I close on the property and things are going great and then I get a report that there is water coming up out of the ground um, in an area of the park and I'm like well this is not good and again years ago I would have been stressed out and I don't want to say that money fixes everything because it doesn't but it sure makes things a lot easier when you've got to you know go fix these high dollar um, items like this so um, luckily I have a contractor that uh, more or less came with the excuse me came with the property who takes care of a lot of the things like this that goes goes wrong and uh, he called me up and said hey we got this problem um, I've got my excavator I think we'll go ahead and dig it up hopefully we find that it is the gas company's fault and um, they'll hopefully take care of the cost of it so I'm like well you know one way or another we've got to dig it up we've got to see where the problems coming from so he dug it up and I think there might be a photo um, this photo here was the first photo that he sent me and apparently this um, this yellow line I believe is the gas line which I'm a little bit confused because he said he found the leak and he clamped it um, that looks like a clamp but I'm almost 100% sure the yellow line is gas line so not really sure if you know what's going on here let me know but uh, it's kind of honestly a nice thing about um, being able to hire people who know what they're doing I don't really need to know what's going on you know to a certain extent but uh, so that's what he sent me at first and they here's the water line um, here that they ended up replacing so what happened was the uh, the borer machine actually nicked the side of the water line um, they got so close to it, which is I mean honestly skill because that water line's not that big around and uh, so we had a leak but you know lesson learned from this is um, keep cool don't freak out about these things and I want to make this point to the young investors who are just getting started uh, some of you guys maybe you just bought your first property you spent a lot of your your capital on the down payment and maybe you had a couple things unexpectedly come up and you're just sweating bullets trust me it gets 10 times easier the bigger you get I always used to hear that when I was listening to uh, big you know big guys in real estate talk like oh once you get you know to a hundred units or more you know it just gets so much easier and it really does it really does I can't believe how much easier it is because you know um, certain problems like this in the past I would have had to go out there probably myself with a shovel and you know trying to figure out what was going on spend hours and hours of my time um, but once you get to a certain size it's like sure it really hurts um, I mean let me put give an example so you know um, if you have one single family house and this this happens maybe having a, a water main break break or something you know and it costs you 1200 1300 bucks to fix it maybe maybe a little more you know that that could be half a year of cash flow or hopefully hopefully not hopefully your cash flow more than that 
But my point is, when you just have one property, you've only got that one property covering these bills. Where when you have you know 100 units bringing in rent, you have the ability to cover these costs a lot easier. So um, I think that if you guys are in the situation where you're like, oh man, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I don't know if I can keep you know floating these prop these big expenses. Hang in there if you can. It gets easier. You just got to keep scaling. Um, you know, I didn't even go see this property. This property's not in my area. Um, it's pretty far from me. So, you know, once you have the capital, once you have that size, it just gets easier to hire someone, hire professional, and and really spend your time focused on what makes you the most money. Which maybe that's your day job. Maybe that's you know finding new deals, whatever it is. So, that's my little story for uh, for today. This picture's a little blurry, but um, hey, you know what? I hardly even batted an eye. You know, I heard that this water was leaking. I'm like, whatever, you know, it might cost five grand, but, um, you know, that's just part of real estate. You, you expect that you got to put, you know, got to plan on setting that money aside for those, for those big issues and, uh, don't freak out. I have one little rule I'll share when something like this does happen. And I'm like really starting to stress out. I kind of have a rule for myself. I always remind myself, I'm like, I can't allow myself to get stressed out until the next day. Because a lot of times when you hear of a problem, you don't have all the information, you maybe heard it from a tenant who's like freaking out a little bit about the situation. And so you've really got to um, collect all the data, figure out what's really going on. Don't allow yourself to get stressed out at first. Give yourself a day and then tell, you, to tell yourself, okay, now I can be stressed out. But likely by that time, the problem's well on its way to being solved and you can move on with your life. So guys, uh, it's a roller coaster. It's, uh, it's riding the waves, you know? You, real estate is very, can be very emotional. There's a lot of things. You're dealing with a lot of people. You're dealing a lot, a lot with a lot of systems that can fail. So make sure you're, you're not riding the waves um, like this, but somehow you're, you're riding them more like this. You know, catching the highs and the lows. You gotta even out those emotions. So anyways, that's my story for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you're not subscribed, you better. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.